Hey, good evening, everyone. I'm Cedric uh, with Fly Traders. We cool and DJs. And also, I run the Charles County Really Matters page. And I have the Honorable Mr. Arthur Ellis, uh, candidate uh, state senate for uh, District 28. Mr. Ellis, how you feeling today, sir? I'm feeling good. Thank you for yeah, asking. Good, good. Me. Sir, what, what I see here is uh, history here. There's a lot of people out here for a midterm. Yeah. This is a midterm, OK? And the line is actually going all the way to the gate, and it's been a steady flow of, of people that's motivated and excited. Uh, you got a lot of people, a lot of Democrats, a lot of Republicans uh, that's on the ground, that's fighting, they're, they're going back and forth, the issues. Um, how does that make you feel? Make me feel great. You know, as a veteran, as a disabled veteran, mm -hmm. you know, this is what we, uh, you know, military, we aim to protect right. our freedoms here and the freedoms to choose our leaders and when to, to see so many citizens engaged in the process right. it's 100 percent pleasure gotcha gotcha and and I, and you're getting a lot of criticism online and i know you're not online and, and you're, you're on the ground you're, you're meeting people you're shaking hands you're kissing babies and everything right. <laughs> and, and 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 it's kind of unfair and I, I saw a lot of things online they say you missed a couple of debates but I know you 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 did four debates. I mean that's a lot of debates for for uh, a kind of a local type of type of thing. Yes, it is. And um, yes, it is. You, a lot of information online. Do you anything in particular? Do you want to point out to the constituents that's voting to go to go check out that your that your opponent is consistently attacking you for? Well, you know the thing is in every election people will attack you for some reason. Mm -hmm. No one will play dead when you run against them. Mm -hmm. And so what? they're looking at they're attacking my military service they're attacking my uh, decision to uh, educate our children and have them to be superstars right. my daughter is like in her 20s still that's what i'm allowed to say right, right, okay. and you know in mid 20s and she's a cpa she's working okay. for an international accounting firm going around the world um, uh, for her company, who just working, doing great things. Uh, my son is a, a scholar, NSA scholar, right. and Meyerhoff scholar. You know, uh, inducted into uh, two or three honor societies. You know, top seven percent at the university. Wow. You know, a major university in Maryland. And you know, it's like, and they're attacking me for that, right? Wow. And so saying I don't believe in education. Wow. That's ridiculous. That you know, I'm a former. Uh, adjunct professor at University of Maryland, University College, wow. University of the District of Columbia, mm -hmm. you know, Stray University. Wow. You wow. know, I've taught professionally uh, right, schools, right. you know, and I believe in education. Mm -hmm. This is great. And I work with uh, teachers in the schools that my children went oh. to, uh, volunteered every week, you know, right. help them and help other children. You know, we ran a uh, robotics club, when I say we, my wife and I, for right. 10 years. Wow. A so STEM a program. Programs, STEM right. program. Okay. A lot of kids wow. who were in that club, along with my my son, he's okay. a who's STEM guy, he's a math major gotcha, now. Gotcha, yeah. You know, he's like, uh, if you think about it, you know, uh, a lot of those students who went through that program with us, and we touched hundreds of students in Charles County over right. the years, right. if not thousands. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of them are engineers now, are engineering school, they're right. in, you know, colleges, doing great things, mm -hmm. uh, becoming doctors and lawyers. You know, we believe in education right. we believe in our youth and we're there we're not big mouth you know mm -hmm. jumping up and down about these things but you know it has happened right. over the years right. here and yeah. so the thing is you know in an election you know people will say stuff mm -hmm. but even if they have nothing to say they will make it up wow and so wow. uh what can we say can't, hey <laughs> Hey, how do you not like a guy like this, man? This is somebody I inspire to be like. He's taking care of his family. Uh, I have young kids, and uh, he's reached a pinnacle where he's seen his kids have some level of success. That's right. Regardless of the aisle you're on, regardless of your policies, regardless of the party, this guy has raised his family, and he's taught others, and he's got, I mean, STEM. I mean, STEM is a, a big deal. Big deal. Big deal. A big deal. This is a big deal. Right. big deal. I mean, hey, I, Mr. Ellis, I really appreciate you you taking the time out, yeah, sir. Thank you. I know you're busy, but I wanted to make sure we address the uh, debate yeah. thing. Okay. And I know you have a lot of stuff on online, and people can go online and yeah. they can compare uh, uh, notes with the right. uh, with the other candidates. Right. Uh, a lot of hardworking Democrats out there. Anything, any, any, Democrats. anything you want to anything you want to tell them? Yes, I want to tell everyone, go on my website, www.ArthurEllis.us. Mm -hmm. That's ArthurEllis.us. And we explain so many things that our vision for the county, how we want to help the county continue and to excel in our and everyone's expectations. Mm -hmm. 
and make it a great place for us to live. And I just want to say, everyone, please come out and vote. Come out and vote. If you yes. can't come out today, uh, the polls close at 8 o'clock. If you're in line at 8, you will be allowed to vote. Okay. Even if you get into the actual booth at 10 gotcha. at night. So gotcha. if you're in line at 8 p.m. tonight, you will be allowed to vote. Okay. And if you cannot make it tonight, guess what? Next Tuesday. Yep. November 6th. November 6th is yeah. a big day. We need to come out and make a difference for our community and for our nation. Yes. One other thing, your military experience. I know there's a lot of tests involved and evaluations that take place in your military. And I don't know where you left off rank-wise and uh, were you an officer or did you, were you enlisted, uh, you know, that type of thing. But I know they do a lot of evaluations. You have to work with people from all types of backgrounds. That's right. That's right. Different types of backgrounds. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah. Again, given that type of training, I know that you're qualified to work across the board. That's right. And I know that your opponent has some great ideas. Mm. Are you willing to sit down with your opponent after all this is over, given either way to work with them to find out how you can come up with uh, to, to make this place better? And the answer is yes. Okay. You know, uh, I have no permanent enemies. <laughs> I have an opponent right now. Right, right, right. It's, but uh, my opponent is my opponent, is not my enemy. Definitely. And so this is a political process. And so therefore, you know, uh, I work with uh, folks who are willing to work with me. Absolutely. And, you know, you say you didn't know uh, about my whether I was an officer or not. Right. Well, I'll let you know now. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I was an officer. Okay. I'm, well, still I'm an officer. Right, right, right. You know, I get on uh, military base, they salute me and say, okay. welcome, sir, right, you know, you. and okay. still to this day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, I went, uh, spent four years at university, uh, universities mm -hmm. uh, in ROTC program, okay. ROTC uh, program. I had a four-year scholarship in STEM, wow. and I graduated from the University of Maryland College Park mm -hmm. and uh, went on to become a, uh, you know, a uh, leader in the telecommunications area mm -hmm. in the Air Force. My last job, I ran the entire communication, telecommunications gotcha. uh, systems okay. at all air bases mm -hmm. across the world for the Air Force gotcha. and make sure the automation worked. Okay. And so, you know, well, um, hey, I task, understand, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very hefty. Yeah. You know, I supervise <laughs> men and women uh, from all backgrounds okay. across America. Gotcha. You're talking about rural, you're talking about city, you're mm -hmm. talking about white and black mm -hmm. and Asian. I even worked with uh, foreign military right. officers, right. Okay. Wow. you know, from Saudi Arabia, from right. Sudan, from Canada, Australia over the years. So, you know, also I want to say that as an officer, we're evaluated by our ability. One section of our evaluation mm -hmm. for junior officers, it's uh, every six months for uh, mid-level officers mm -hmm. once a year right. but there is a block on our evaluation that says ability to get along with others right, 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 and if right. you will not get promoted right. if you yeah. cannot get along with everyone right. and work with them to accomplish the mission mm -hmm. which is to defend the united states of Correct. america Correct. against all enemies both foreign and domestic right. and so believe me i was promoted several times gotcha Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Now, hey, one other question. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm pushing it with one other question, oh, but oh, <laughs> I know you're right. <laughs> Going to Annapolis, right? Going to Annapolis. Charles County is kind of looked at as a rural county, right? right? The growth is uh, is uh, unbelievable. Um, how 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 can you how can you do you have how do you have a plan to, to change that to get them to buy into what's happening here and to support? like some of the traffic issues we have going on yeah. and uh do you have a sales pitch basically because well, you know what i've been in contact with so many of the uh okay. senators mm -hmm. and you know what people don't realize the president of the maryland state senate mm -hmm. also represents portion of charles county okay so he understands what's going on and right. we've had many meetings he's a big supporter of mine okay. he endorsed me okay. and he contributed to my campaign uh, and so you know we are determined to work together to work on the issues affecting us but you mentioned transportation right. and because 72 percent of our working population goes north every day right. on 2105 2105 301 mm -hmm. to get to work and so we need to do things to decrease that uh, stressor mm -hmm. in their lives and we're dedicated to make it happen okay. and several other senators from baltimore mm -hmm. from prince george's county Baltimore County have come to Charles County mm -hmm. to work with me as far as the knock on doors. Okay. So we have formed a really tremendous partnerships already. Gotcha. And so that partnership will continue to help inform them. And 
that Charles County is not 100% of the rule anymore. Mm -hmm. We have a nice rural character, right. but we have Waldorf Air, which is the urban core, right, right. and so we need to understand that and recognize that and bring those resources here to mm -hmm. take care of the uh, suburban areas of Charles County. Gotcha. And we will also continue to look out for and preserve the rural nature and the agricultural Correct. sector and preserve the environment mm -hmm. and to make sure that we all continue to have good air to breathe mm -hmm. and clean water to drink. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Thank you. And I'll see you around. And uh, okay. definitely, I appreciate everything. All right. Good deal.